So welcome back everyone, Mike here. Today we're gonna take a very close look at the Kubota Sidekick. Now, as most of you know, we have a partnership with Kubota, and this machine is not ours. However, we're going to be trying it out for quite some time. Now, we got this Sidekick almost a week ago, and initially, I wanted to do a video right away, kind of go over some of the features and tell you guys a little bit about it, but I thought it would be better to uh, kind of put it through its paces a little bit. So, in the last week, I did some trail riding, we plowed a lot of snow, uh, all sorts of things, and so far, it's performing really well. Right now, I'm going to go over some of the options on this one, some of the specs, and then we're going to take it out on the trails. All right, this is the Kubota Sidekick RTV XG850. First off, I'm going to go over some of the options and accessories that this one came with, starting with a windshield, windshield wiper. It's got the roof and a rear window. And by the way, a rear window is a nice feature to have on a side-by-side. -side. In the summertime when it's real dusty, that dust will just kind of roll up off your tires. And I don't know if there's like a vacuum back there or what, but it'll blow in this back window. So it's nice to have a rear window. It's got uh, these LED work lights right here that work fantastic, along with the LED headlights. Uh, I had this out the other night, and this thing lights up like a Christmas tree. It's got a winch. It's got a receiver on the front, which is really nice for you guys that like to move trailers around that way or your boat or whatever. Uh, we'll move around to the back here. It's got this uh, side rails on it here. And this is almost like a built-in headache rack right there. If you notice, it's a little bit higher than the bed, which is really nice from keeping firewood or whatever from bashing into your window. Uh, it's got the spray-in bed liner, this nice mat right here to keep things from sliding around. There's four tie-downs in the back, and this is really nice. I'll use this quite often. This is a bed extender. I'll show you this in just a minute, uh, but I will be able to put a really nice jag of firewood in this side-by-side. -side. Now, to open the tailgate, you need to use both hands, which I kind of like having just a single lever in the center. However, over time, those have always given me fits. You know, the rods that go over get kind of jacked up. A lot of times I'm opening with a screwdriver or something. This is pretty simple, and I don't think you ever have that problem with it. Now, check out this bed extender. I measured this the other night. It's 48 inches from there up to the front. Now, I cut my firewood at 16 inches in length. Now, I'm pretty accurate when I cut my firewood. But if I did it perfectly, I could fit three rows of firewood in there. There will be a little variations, but I can see putting two nice rows of firewood in here, you know, up to about this high, and then stacking some rounds straight up and down across the back here. I'm really looking forward to getting this out in the woods, though, and uh, hauling in some wood. Now to raise the bed, there's one of these latches on each side. Just lift it up. It's balanced really well. You wouldn't have any problems dumping a load. Take a look at the back. It's got a hitch on the back as well. And moving around to the inside, has these uh, half doors on it. 
It's got a glove box right here. There's storage under the seats. Very nice. And under the driver's seat. Got big cup holders on both sides. Now we'll go over some of the controls. This is your parking brake right here. Really easy to get to. This right here is for your winch in and out. This is for your snow plow, headlights, tilt steering wheel. It's your gear selector right here. Low, high, neutral, reverses at the bottom. There's your horn. This button here is for the LED work lights up top. Rear work light windshield wiper has a really nice dash i'll turn the key here and light that up i've got uh 6.1 hours on it so far i think it might have had two on it when it came so i have about four hours on it so far it's got a 12 volt outlet right here this is your four-wheel drive selector right here and by the way the uh, four-wheel drive is engaged as soon as you put that in. Uh, some of them, you know, you got to kind of back up a little bit or pull forward for it to get engaged. And that's sometimes a problem when you get stuck because you can't move and you can't get the four-wheel drive engaged. This one, I have found as soon as I put it in, it's in four-wheel drive. Also has a differential lock, which is a really nice feature if you really get stuck. I doubt, I shouldn't say that, but I doubt I'll ever need that though. Now under the bed here is your engine. This is a 851 cc two-cylinder four-cycle liquid-cooled engine. Produces, I believe, right at 48 horsepower. It's got independent suspension front and rear, plus plenty of ground clearance. All right, we're going to take it out in the trails right now and see how it does. Uh, I think we'll head down to what we call Maple Grove. Our trails are pretty windy. We have about six inches of snow on them right now, and it's about 35 degrees. So it's trying to melt a little bit, so it's kind of extra slippy right now. And we have one steep hill to go up, so we'll see how it does. All right, so I went over some of the uh, specs and some of the features. Now, like I said at the beginning, I've used this so far for plowing some snow, did some trail riding. It's performing really well, but uh, Melissa hasn't even sat in the seat yet, have you? Nope. Want to take it for a spin? Yeah. All right, you have to close the, uh, okay. so close the dump bed. Then you latch that. All right, so that just folds out. You can fold that back in, but uh, that'll be great for uh, 
hauling firewood and stuff. Gives yeah. you a whole lot more room back there. You can close the tailgate. Okay. Now, I was showing them a little bit ago. It's got the uh, spray-in liner. Yeah, I like that. Plus, it's got the mat inside to keep things from sliding around. Exactly. That's what I was just going to say. Things won't shift around as much. Right. So you can hop in. I'll show you all the controls and uh, how to drive it, but you'll do just fine, I'm sure. Oh, me too. Put your seatbelt on. This brings me back to the days when um, we did that ride at Hershey Park. I guess it'd be the driver. All right, so down here on your left right here, yeah, that's your parking brake right there. Oh. There's no park up here. You just have low, high, neutral, and reverse. See that? Yeah, low, high, and neutral. And reverse. Yep. Obviously, got your brake and your gas. How many horsepower is this? 48 horsepower, Melissa. Woo! Now listen, it will, uh, it, it's really, you step on the gas, it goes. I you, know. you know what I mean? Yeah. So you have to ease into the accelerator, unlike what you do in your Jeep. Yeah, I drive it like I stole it. This is the tilt steering wheel right here. If you oh, want to wow. get your steering wheel where you want it, pull that lever down. There you go. Oh yeah, it's up or down all the way. Oh yeah. All right, you ready to go for a ride? So what do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. Hey, yeah, what do you like about it? I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, the get up and go, but uh, getting down by the lumber yard, all that down there, you have a lot of stuff down there. So I figured I might have to do any a few backups. I didn't. I had it has tight turning. I was able to get in there, make a little turn, and boom. Yeah, and it has uh, you know it's power steering, but it's like a speed sensitive power steering. So when you're moving real slow. You can turn on a dime okay. and it gives you a lot of power steering. The faster you go, the less power steering you have, which is a good thing. You know, yeah. when you're driving 20 or 30 miles an hour, you don't want it to be super responsive. Right. But they, they hit the steering right and uh, the suspension is nice as well and it's got a very nice turning radius. It does. And for driving the trails, there's a lot of spots that you're going to need that. So I yeah, think, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that was important. And I, I just was super surprised with the get up and go. Yeah. I was not expecting that and I love it. It's very quick acceleration. Now top speed is around 40 miles an hour. We have 100 acres here and there's nowhere that I would go 40 miles an hour out there. There's just, we don't have like big open fields or anything like that. Now Melissa, you may, tr <laughs> you may try it, but uh, yeah, so far, like I said, we've got six hours on it so far. And you'll see this in a lot of videos. We'll be using it all the time. Uh, but so far, I'm impressed. I'll be honest. I wasn't sure at first what I would think of it. Uh, but plowing snow yeah. the other day did fantastic. Yeah. Uh, and it does. You step on that gas, it, it, it goes. Does. It's get up and go. I was, I was so surprised. So. so my initial thoughts are, I think this is kind of a uh, crossover machine. And what I mean, there are real high performance ones that are just made for speed. But obviously, you can't haul firewood in them. And you're not going to do things like that. And then you have like the big Kubota 1140s. They're pure work machines. This is a great crossover, uh, as far as I can tell, for people like us, actually, landowners. Uh, you know, we hunt here. We're hauling firewood. Our grandson, you know, our son, grandson, and granddaughter, they live over the hill there. What is it, a half mile through the yeah. woods or something? 
Uh, my mom's place is down over the hill, so we're always zipping around the property. And uh, what's nice though is this a whole lot of weight, mm -hmm. tight turning radius. You feel that was the first time you ran it. You know yeah. what I mean? And you feel really, really comfortable with I it. I do. But yeah, it's a, it's a good crossover, and I would say it's about a 50-50 mix. You know, work play yeah. is the way I see it. And like we'll report back. We're going to be using this quite a bit and uh, we'll give more information as we learn more about it but so far i'm impressed i didn't know what to think at first i never ran one but uh, the acceleration out of the hole i love it it's like i love it and it's up. great like you said you can have it out working and then you can get back to the house in time and won't be late for dinner yeah <laughs> but anyway i think that's about it uh like i always say anything you want to add before we wrap this up no i love it yeah all right good deal oh you're excited i do and it has a horn and has a horn you can blow the horn at me to hurry up or whatever. It's a push button. Beep, beep. But yeah. I'm always doing sound effects everywhere I'm driving. Beep, beep. <laughs> so that's great. But anyway, I think that's it for today's video. Uh, like always say, if you enjoyed these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks. Thanks.